Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm going to present a poster on accessory hide bone with completely calcified stylohyde ligament, a rare case report. First of all, introduction. Uh, Styloid process is a small tapering cylindrical bony projections from a temporal bone and lying anteromedially to the mesoid process and anterior to the stylomestoid foramen. It is placed quarterly, medially, and anteriorly towards the maxillovertebral pharyngeal recess, which contain carotid arteries, internal jugular vein, and is 7th to 12th cranial nerve. Except the 11th, it normally varies in length from 2 cm to 3 cm, and a styloid process longer than 3 cm is found in only 4 to 7 percent of population. The styloid process, uh, the stylohyoid ligament and lesser cornophyoid bone form the stylohyoid chain, which is also known as the stylohyoid complex or the stylohyoid apparatus, and it arises from the richest cartilage of the second brachial arches. The hard bone is a free floating U shaped bone that sits in the anterior midline and uh, serves several functions to assist in swallowing and movement of, onto the tongue. There are two embryonic hypotheses regarding uh, derivatives of the hard bone. The first suggests that hard bone is derived from the second and third pharyngeal arches. Evidences from embryological studies examining uh, development pattern of the hyoid, such as observation of the unique fibrous tissue population uh, populations between the lesser uh, corno and hyoid body, thereby implying the fusion of cells from two separate origins, has led to the greater uh, acceptance of the theory involving the contributions of the second uh, pharyngeal arch to hyoid bone development. The clinical entity of calcified styloid ligament supports this uh, contribution of richer cartilage in the generation of the hyoid bone. A second alternate hypothesis states that the hyoid bone and all of its component parts originate from the third pharyngeal arch, which calls into question the notion that the second pharyngeal arch, also known as richest cartilage, plays any role in development. Knowledge of hyoid bone anatomy becomes important during surgical cases of trauma, pediatric auto laryngeology and laryngeo uh, laryngeology, where the anatomic relationship between the hyoid bone and its muscular attachments are critical. Now coming on to the case report. In this case, a middle-aged unknown male presented to the casualty in altered sensorium and in hypotension. After the investigation, no significant abnormalities were detected in the brain and patient was found anemic for which blood transfusions was done. At autopsy, on external examination, disease was found emaciated with prominent strip markings and scaphoid abdomen. scaphoid abdomen. On internal examination of body, we encountered difficulty in removing the neck structures. On meticulous neck dissection, we found a bony structure below and along the mandible bone, which created hindrance in removing the trachea. On further dissection, this bony structure was originated from the bilateral temporal bones and going medially and downwards. The medial end of the structure was firmly adherent to a U-shaped bony structures in midline. After maceration, U-shaped structure was identified as hyoid bone, and bony structures originating from the temporal bone of skull was identified as bilateral calcified stylohyoid ligament fused with the styloid process of the temporal bone. After removal of laryngotracheal structures, hyoid bone was dissected from its uh, usual location. Now, this is the picture showing the uh, stylohyoid, elongated stylohyoid ligament along with the hyoid bone. And this is the after the complete maceration. Uh, discussion is accessory hard bone was a rare occurrence and till date in no case have been reported as far as our knowledge. D. Becker et al. have described anomaly of the hard bone along with calcified stylohyoid ligament as accessory hard bone. Present but have not mentioned complete duplication of hyoid bone in the study as we described in the present case. Jadav et al. described two cases in which one was the elongated styloid process on one side and the other bilateral partial ossification of the stylohyoid ligament occurred. Sabak et al. described two cases in which one was unilateral elongated styloid process and in the other unilateral ossified distal end of stylohyoid ligament. Skirzet et al. and Gadkari et al. have described few cases of the elongated styloid process. Conclusion. In the present case report, we describe a rare case of the ossified styloid process along with their complete accessory hard bone, which have not been described in the literature till late. Presence of accessory hard bone along with the calcified bilateral stylohyoid ligament supports the theory of the origin of hard bone from the second pharyngeal arch. The knowledge of hard bone and stylohyoid complex is very useful for the neck and the dental surgeries.
Thank you.